Hey guys, Apple just dropped iOS 12.1.2 today, beta one for developers. We should be seeing a public beta here fairly soon. So let's go ahead and cover everything we know about this firmware, which quite frankly is not much. It's quite a large update for me. It was almost three gigabytes from 12.1.1, but for some they're reporting a 350 megabyte update size. So before I had 7.33 gigabytes after 6.23. So it took quite a bit to install this update. Let's go ahead and check it out inside. Now I'll tell you this, it has completely bugged my app switcher. So if I go ahead and update or open an app and then try and close it right away, first off, I can't anymore. You got a double slide and sometimes it'll glitch completely uh, like this. And like, what the heck is going on? Like it completely ruins my app switcher for me, just like bugginess wise, it's not great at all. So hold off on that if you were hoping to update for a smooth release, that is not the case here. Hopefully in the next beta they do fix that, but it's pretty bad. So two, the only notable feature, I guess you can't even say a feature, more like a change is that the ECG, the electrocardiogram feature now works if you're running a beta on your iPhone. Previously you had to be running a final release to get that feature to work on your Apple Watch. Now you can be on a beta and still have that work. So um, that's a small change. And 9 to 5 Mac speculates that iOS 12.1.2 internally works works on air power. So the inner workings of air power and how it's gonna charge are being optimized and tweaked with this firmware. And this is speculation, take note. So if that does release here relatively soon, your iPhone will be prepared for it. And I'm assuming that the smart battery case as well is made to work with iOS 12.1.2 or 12.1.1. So that's some speculation on a couple features. Otherwise, not much is known. I dug through it, couldn't really find anything else inside. Um, but again, these features do turn up over time, so I'll report on those uh, later. Anyways, let's do a Geekbench real quick, see what kind of performance we're getting. But I'm telling you, the app switcher is so bad on this release, like completely bugged. And there's that score, a little bit lower than usual, but no cause for concern. I'd be more worried about the app switcher bug. So literally just, it's so buggy. I'm telling you, it's annoying me right now. So I definitely not use this as my personal release, at least until next beta. I'll keep my eye out for more features and changes. The unusual thing is by this time last year, we had iOS 11.2 already and 11.3 was coming in late January. Apple has not made any moves yet for 12.2. I'm hoping that they're gonna be releasing some big changes here in iOS 12. And uh, again, I'll keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, there it is, iOS 12.1.2, stay away for now.